have a beautiful Lynn Creek Coho here. So we're looking at the spots, and you know the spots are normally above the lateral line, not not too heavy spotty on the tail, often just the upper lobes of the tail. This fish is an unmarked fish, still has her adipose fin. So that means that not from any local hatchery, because the Papua don't see more, both are clipping all of their fish. So most likely not from, can't tell for sure. Caudal, uh, dorsal, dorsal fin here, and ventral fins. Sometimes Seymour was clipping ventral fins, but both fins are intact here too. And, and you know, she, she's in really great shape. And you can see here, she's not, she hasn't started to kind of break down and get all fungusy and chewy yet. And also what we're looking at before we would take eggs is if there's any kind of boils or lesions or any kind of um, things that just would, would indicate there might be so, something wrong with inside, with the eggs inside or the fish inside. But she's really, really clean. There, there's, there's nothing here on, on either side here too, so she looks really good. And then inside, once we've taken the eggs, we would look. The kidney lies in behind the swim bladder here. This one's already deflated. And often if there's problems, if the fish isn't healthy, you might see um, <clears throat> white spots in behind here. But she, she looks, I mean, this looks really nice and clean. And often that indicates something like bacterial kidney disease or some kind of problem that can be passed down. But she's in great shape here. So the swim batter lies over the kidney. And you've got the liver, pyloric cica here, the spleen. And right up in the top is the heart muscle right up inside here. And this strong kind of bulb that helps pump the, um, the blood through, circulate the blood through the body. And also this is the very, the, the, the stomach, because they stop eating, is kind of tucked in behind here and it starts to just shrink. And the digestive tract here down it is empty because of course all the energy goes into the eggs, to the production of the eggs here. So um, she's in really great shape here. And of course the gills here and the gill arches are really important to help them catch and filter food and then also um, to uh, circulate, to pick up the oxygen from the water and, and pump it to the heart and pump it throughout the body. So she's in really great shape here. I think we estimated, what, 12, maybe 10, 12 pounds in here prime. She's level with the female. And also the females get a little bit of a hook nose. Her nose is a bit rubbed here from holding. And sometimes they get a bit of a pipe here too, but the males will get quite a large hook nose. And also another good way to tell coho is um, this white rim here, the white gum, say, as opposed to a Chinook might have a completely black mouth.